Hi YouTube, so today I'm going to be reviewing the, what I believe is new, <laughs> the new Artex Sim, Sim, Simp Tap Acrylic Marker Set. That's kind of hard to say. Oh, that's got some stuff on it. Um, so I may have accidentally bought them off of Amazon. Um, I've not seen too much on them. I, I watched one video about them. Uh, but then I didn't want to go into the review with a preconceived idea of what they were like, so I didn't watch any more. I'll watch them later. Um, but basically, these are a brush tip acrylic marker pen. They are similar to the Posca one, I believe. They've got a pump back like this, so you click this button down, um, and then you have a brush inside there. So I'm not sure if you can see, but they are separate bristles in that, and they're quite good. They're not um, widely available on the market and Posca don't have a huge range in these. So it looks like with the Artex ones, you've got a much bigger range of this, this type of pen. Um, and normally these pens come in a bullet nib or like a chisel. Um, you have to activate, so this is white normally. You activate it by shaking it and then pumping the ink out um, or the paint out. Um, but anyway... So, I want to see how good these are because I'm always on the lookout for replacements for Poscas. Um, let's get into it. Okay, so I've not opened this. It had cellophane on it. I've taken that off because it was too shiny for the light, but I've not actually opened the box. So, it's quite a cute... Um, it's that, that weird, like, that nice-feeling plastic. It's got, like, a coating on it. Not plastic, but cardboard, I mean, with, like, some sort of coating. Um... Okay, so there they are. Let's just have a look at one of them. So you can see the click back on that. Um, okay, and they do need activating. The nib is not a brush like the Posca. Oh, you can't even see that. It's not a brush like the Posca one. That's gold marker on my nail, by the way, from my first take. <laughs> um, so, okay, they're going to need activating. Um, but we've got really nice selection of colours there, it looks. Oh, God, everything's in the way. Okay. So you can see there, and then there is like a swatch bit on the back. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate all of these now, and then we'll go do some swatching. Okay, welcome back. So I've activated all of them bar one, um, and I thought I'd leave this, because most people know how to activate a Posca, um, and then I realised that... Um, they're slightly different, as I mentioned before, but I, I didn't show it. So um, I'm going to activate this pen. This is the uh, J747. Um, they don't have names. That's one thing I've noticed, just a... Um, unless it's on this barrel anywhere. No, they don't have names. They just have a code, which is fine. Um, don't need names. But one thing I did notice was that these are incredibly difficult to activate. So that's obviously not a plus. Um, so you, you shake, as I just have, and then you press the button. And immediately, so this one's doing it quite easily. <laughs> immediately you see the barrel start to flood. Um, what I will say is if you've got quite weak hands like me, they are very hard to press this button on the back. Um, but yeah you know it's been tough this so there's 24 i didn't mention that earlier. there's 24 in the pack and i've had to do all 24 which has it's made my hands sore um and it's taken quite a lot of time but i wouldn't have said it's taken any longer than activating a posca uh, my only grumble with the activation is literally that 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 button is quite hard to press um and the the nibs don't seem to fill up evenly as well they do fill up eventually but you have to keep pressing and I've noticed if you sort of roll the pen around, it helps to, to saturate you more. So it's not fully really saturated, but I expected to finish doing that itself. Um, but they seem quite juicy. Anyway, oh, I've got it on me already. Uh, let us, I'm going to put the pens in the order they are on the back of the box and um, get my sketchbook and I will start swatching them with you and we'll see what they're like. Okay, here we go. So I've had to zoom out a little bit for the swatch because the sketchbook is so big and there's so many pens. Um, so I've roughly put them in the same order as they are on the back of the box, although I'm questioning why they put the silver and the gold halfway through the colours and not next to each other. <laughs> I find that a little bit weird, but that's just me. Um, so let's get started. I'll swatch a couple of them with you and then I'll go into time lapse so you can see me do all of them. Um, white is first on their colour chart, which is a little odd. 
so let's let's go for the white i mean it seems i can't i don't know if you mm, i can't see it on the camera um but i can see it on the page there and it seems decent um quite good coverage there um on the white um and then uh, this is like a beige Again, pale, not sure how much of that is going to be showing up. They seem quite nice to use, though. Okay, so yellow, I expect this to show. It's a nice yellow. Well, nice. <laughs> a bright yellow. Here we go. So I'll do a couple more. They seem really nice, solid colours off the bat. Um, I'm quite pleased with them so far working well despite like the reservations on the uh, the initial swatching of them um taking a long time and not saturating the nib properly so they're not too like they're vibrant but they're not um too in your face they're slightly muted which i like um good good so far anyway um, I'll just finish off doing all of these and then we'll catch up about the swatches after. Okay, done with the swatching. Um, I think they, they look really good from swatch, to be honest um i think the sit out of all of them to be honest i think the silver is a little lackluster but um do you know it's quite hard to get a decent metallic in a paint marker um it just doesn't um it doesn't read quite as well as a silver as i would like it to i mean you can you can definitely see it's metallic but it's not it's not overly on my dressing gown so i'm still wearing my dressing gown um doesn't read overly well as a metallic but the gold's quite good um they're super matte they they look kind of like gouache i'd say they're more matte than a posca um which is good um i'd expect some streakiness on like the first pass of color but you've got none of that really there i can't i'm trying to look at the swatches to see if there's anything that maybe a little bit of streakiness on this one but you know what they're really really good um i'm impressed so far so i'm gonna do um a little artwork with them and um so i'm not gonna start doing trying the layering and all that now because i probably will do that in the artwork so i can talk about how they layer and stuff but um yeah they they look they look really good so far so uh, let's get on with an artwork and and see how they fare actually being used properly
Hello, welcome back. So I've spent a couple of hours with these pens now and um, so I'm going to give you my absolutely honest review. So just take a moment to let you know that I bought these pens with my own money. Um, so I don't feel, not that I would lie about a product anyway, but I don't feel any obligation to um, not be honest with you. <laughs> um, I bought these pens. I think they're new because I hadn't seen them before, but I bought these pens with my own money. Um, and I bought them because I thought they looked great and I really wanted to try them. Now, I'm going to go into the plus points about these pens first. So they, when I first saw them, they were on Amazon for £30 and that is for 24 pens, which is really good value. When I bought them, which was only a few days later, they were about £19, £20. So that was less than a pound a marker. So they're very cheap. Um very good value i think you know because sometimes something's cheap but it doesn't mean it's good value i think these are um the color selection is excellent um there's a couple of grumbles on colors um and that is that i say this is going to be my positives but while we're talking about the selection of colors i would have liked to have seen no metallics in the set because if i'm going to use metallics I'm not going to be doing big areas, so I don't need pens like this, but this is personal choice. Um, and I would have liked to have seen a darker red alongside that. So I could have either gone without those and gone with a couple of other shades, maybe another purple and a dark, uh, purple, another orange and a darker red, or got rid of one of these purple pinks for a darker red. But that's the only negative I've got to say about the colours, to be honest. Um, they're not too in your face. They've got a slightly muted tone to them, which I quite like. Um, sometimes I feel pens are too bright or other supplies. Um, but I like these. Um, what else? So they're really easy to use. The one thing I did notice is that you need to make sure that nib is properly saturated. If it's properly saturated, you should only need to do one layer. If you're going to layer the pens, you need to make sure your first layer is dry because I tried to put the this like taupey brownie colour over the top of the uh, the cream. Um, the cream wasn't properly dry and it made a bit of a mess. So I waited a while, came back, and I um, went over the top, no problems. Um, they're really matte except for the black, which is really good. I like that. They kind of lo look a little gouache, which is nice. I'd say. The way they appear is because Poscas are supposed to be matte. They're better than Poscas for that. Um, and I also think that these, if you compare them to the Poscas, now the nib is different. This has got like a, what do you call it? Like a sponge felt tip nib. This has got a brush nib. Um, these are not as good as these for this type of pen. These are much better. Um, these seems that don't have very much ink in. They're hard to control. These are better. Um, oh, and these will drip ink, drip um, paint everywhere. I did try and get these to drip and I couldn't. So that's really good. Um, yeah, they're easy to use. You've got a really good like variation in line weights. Um, make like these little petal shapes. That is just literally by dabbing that on. Um, yeah, overall really, really good. Um, easy to cover large areas. Um, now we're going to sort of like talk about... It's kind of a positive and a negative here. So generally they're really good at layering. Um, but a couple of the colours, which I'm not surprised at, aren't particularly good. So the yellow is rubbish at layering. But then Posky yellows aren't very good either. It must be something to do with the pigments. The white could have been better... This is two passes on the white and it's it's not as white as I would like. However, if I was going to do small details like this, I wouldn't use a paint marker. I'd use a gel pen. So that's not really an issue. Um, so going into more of the negatives now, and they're not bad negatives, really. I wouldn't use them for lining again. I tried it here because I wanted to see how they performed. They're, they're a little bit hard to control for lining. Um, it might be that, you know, a bit more practice, it's a new supply, but um, I find them a little bit clumsy. So I would be more inclined to use a fine liner brush nib um, or even just a really tiny paint marker like the, the Posca um, 1MRs or something like that. Um, 
so not really a problem for me or use alternatives um the other things that i think could be improved about them is that they from what i can see that you can only buy them singles and they're not refillable which i think in this day and age companies should really be looking into the sustainability of their product um and i don't think this plastic is recycled plastic which the poscas are but i need to do a little bit more research on that but they don't look like they're, they're recycled plastic but to be honest that's my only negatives on them they need to be made more uh, sustainable i think if you're starting out with paint markers they are um, really good because there's a lot of them for a cheap amount of money um i don't think they replace poscas but they're a different kind of nib they're certainly better than the posca equivalent of these pens but if we're talking about paint markers in general um i think you know they're they're not quite as good as the market leaders however they're really really good um and i'm going to be using these a lot more um i actually found them more enjoyable to use than uh, than poscas but i would probably use them in conjunction i've got lots of brands that i really like you know it's not just posca i've got molotow i've got the edding markers pilot pinter i would probably use these alongside everything else because they've all got qualities that are really good for like and that are unique to them um but anyway i will stop rambling <laughs> um i think they're great if you're thinking of trying them i'd say go for it definitely um one of the better markers that i've used and i've used loads all my dressing girls for them now and um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna stop talking i'm gonna let you get on with your day but thank you for watching i really hope you enjoyed this review I would give them 8 out of 10. That's how, how good I think they are. Um, and also I will say the negatives are minor and do not outweigh how good the pens are. So I would say overall fantastic pens. But yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you would like to see more reviews like this. Because I've not really done many for a long time. Um, and yeah, I'm going to start using these a little bit more. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the artwork. And a happy new year because we are, well, it's New Year's Eve at the point I'm filming this. But when you see it, we're going to be uh, basically nearly a week into the new year. So happy new year. <laughs> and I will speak to you all again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.